Hello Monster Masters, it is ML Scholar and today we'll be discussing about the new Monster Legends Pass monster on Dana. Now from this video you can expect a mini analysis on Ondana and basically what moves do I prefer running on her and you'll basically get an overview of all of the skills of Ondana and hopefully you'll find this video very informative. Now one thing to keep in mind is this is subject to changes. It usually does not change like 99% of the time but for the 1% it may change and if there are any changes I'll let you know as well. Now this monster is unfortunately not available to the entirety of Monster Legends. It is only an exclusive monster that you will only gain by purchasing the June's Legends Pass this is Legends Pass Season 9. I have done an entire different video on that, so if you want to go check it out, I'll link it down in the description. Now, moving on, we have Ondana's moveset. Now, some of these moves are really not that great. That are basically the initial moves. They are never that great, so I'll be going over them pretty fast, and we'll be coming to the better moves, and I'll be recommending which moves should you run, and all the different situations that those moves can be used in. So first of all, we have Thalassa's Eye, deals more damage to one enemy, nothing too great about that. Moving on for the Water Realms, deals low water damage to all enemies, so yeah, nothing too great about that as well. Then we have Tears in the Sea, applies stamina region to all allies, gives 30% of stamina to all allies. Now this move would be used in certain kind of situations and it's very situation specific. Now this can be used in situations like where your stamina is drained either by monsters that drain stamina, for example Mount Azuma or Fraseroth or something like that along those lines or by relics. So yeah, you could run this move but I really think this monster has better moves ahead and you should not run this move in my opinion. Again, if you really want to use this move, you can switch in when you really really need this move. Then we have Stonefish Harden, removes all negative status effects from one ally, applies immunity to control to one ally. Now the moves start to get better from here because this one is really really great and I think this can be used in a variety of different kind of situations, especially in which you're in those situations in which your support monster is not possessed or basically denied by any of the skills, control skills, and your main attacker is out of the question, either he's possessed or frozen or stunned or whatever. So you can just basically do this move, remove all of the DOTs, remove all of the control status effects and also provide immunity to control in order to prevent future control effects and then your attacker can basically vanquish the entire enemy team. So yeah, a great move. Moving on, we have Sailfish Splatter, removes positive status effects from one enemy, deals low water damage to one enemy, gives one extra turn to itself, requires cooldown. Now this is the move that you should definitely run in my opinion because number one it is an extra turn move and it also removes positive status effects. Now this can be very very useful in situations in which you have monsters with the mega taunt ability, not the mega taunt trait because it does not disable trait, it only removes the special effects, any positive effects that the monster may have, be it evasion, be it mega taunt etc. And since those positive effects have become really really common especially with people getting back to Elvira and also people using a lot of mega taunt monsters like Dundra, like Mephisto, like Isil especially. So you could use this monster from the mythic category and hopefully it will have better stats as well to support it. And you can basically have access to the entire enemy team and not be stopped by just one monster and keep beating on it and wait for the enemy team to vanquish you. So then we have Moriana Bite deals more special damage to one enemy, disables straight on one enemy, and applies a 50% stamina leak to one enemy, it requires cooldown. Now this move is really really great as well and can be used in a multitude of different situations. Again, now this move can be used to remove the Megaton trait that is exclusive to Centarian only and this can also be used to get rid of the almighty area dodge trait which is a real headache and the taunt trade as well which also really is a very very tough thing to get by and on top of disabling trade it also removes 50 percent of the stamina so this can be used in late game or in the second turn or the third turn in which you can basically disarm the enemy attacker and have a chance of winning the battle then we have water swirl deals low special damage to all enemies removes 50 percent of stamina from all enemies gives 50 percent of stamina to all allies now this move i would also recommend running because this number one deals low special damage that will deal some extra damage on top of what your attacker deals and it also removes 50 percent of stamina from all allies so you can basically run this move after moriana bite and basically drain the in and then drain the entire stamina of the enemy monster, enemy attacker and also remove 50% stamina from all of the enemy team as well and also give 50% stamina to all of your 
allied team so this is again a really really great move then for the last move we have fresh drowning removes positive status effects from all enemies deals low water damage to all enemies applies drown to all enemies now again a very very great move and number one removes positive status effects also deals low water damage and also provides a dot now drowned also removes stamina which is also really great because it will work in conjunction with your moves like moriana bite and water swirl etc now i think this monster is a great support monster and you should definitely if you have the money spend it on this monster and i'm thinking this monster will also have a killer trait as well fingers crossed it does not have area dodge because that will make it really really hard to counter but also we have the special here so which is abyss death deals more water damage to all enemies, disables straight on all enemies, applies freeze to all enemies, deadly deadly special, but specials do not trigger often, so yeah. Let's just discuss the moves that I would recommend. The last three moves, Fresh Drowning, Water Soul and Moriana Bite are a must have on this monster and the, another move that I would recommend is either Stonefish Harden or Sailfish Splatter. Depending upon the situation, I would really prefer if you run Sailfish Splatter because it removes positive status effects and can be used in a multitude of different situations but you could easily argue and say you could run stonefish horden in a lot of situations as well so it will depend upon the situation you're facing if you're facing monsters with the megaton ability or evasion or whatever you want to call it or, or any other positive status effects that really that really hinders you so you should run sailfish splatter or if you are running monsters that are faster than you and you are sure that your attacker may get denied so you could run stonefish horden and that will basically ensure that you have a chance to attack and have a chance on winning the battle so yeah these are the four moves that i would recommend for this monster again this monster will be available only to those players who have purchased is the june's legends pass now having said that would would i consider this monster a worth it monster to have yes i would and would i consider this monster to be a must-have no, I would not consider this monster to be a must have because right now we do not know the trade and we do not know the relics as well as the stats. If those are like a bit off, I wouldn't consider this monster a must have. But the skills are really great and I really like this monster as a support monster. And yeah, that basically concludes my video. Thank you if you have been watching so far and have been supporting me. I really appreciate all of the comments. Please keep commenting, please keep liking and sharing the video. I am really thankful for you all for watching this video. So see you in the next one. Peace out.